Okay, in this lesson, we want to talk about another important tool in Cinema 4D is Remesh. When you insert model from internet or other software, for example, for printing an STL file, when you look at its line, as you can see, we have a uh, triangle <clears throat> look here, they're not very good and not, and they have not any topology for, for example, when we use for animating or anything here. So for, cor for correcting them, we use remesh for that. I give you an example from a simple model because it's taking two time to calculating depending on your machine. We start from modeling a star and then extrude that and changing its properties and to explain this model. For example, when we are going to the display graph shading, going to the spot star, changing intermediate point to subdivided to add a uh, segment here and then go back to the extrude, add a some segment here and then go into the cap instead of engon, change it to the regular grid and for example, as you can see, we want to, we want to remesh it to the best way. You can simply insert remesh and drag extrude or any object that you want, child of the remesh. I want to say you please wait for calculating here. It's a process bar appear here and waiting for calculate. As you can see, it has a remesh. It has some problem here that we have to fix that. Going to the remesh, we have lots of setting that I want to explain you. Take a look at this image. This is remesh. As you can see, we have an original mesh and remeshing, remeshing to fewer polygon, polygon and the best topology. Polygon type we have quite dominant, quite quite dominant. Quad is uh, four uh, side, four gun polygon. Quad dominant means it's tried uh, doing the best and it turned most of the po polygon to the quad, but sometimes it does not. Uh, it's it it can't do it and left other polygon to uh, triangle. Triangle, it turn all of the polygon to triangle. Change them in your uh, model. Depend on your modeling, you can change it if in any type that you want. Polygon target mode. Here you can reduce, increase or decrease your uh, polygon mesh. This tool here is like polygon reduction. You can change the polygon, for example, mesh density to half in a percentage. You can change your model. Or if you want to change your model polygon count as a count, how many polygons that you want, you can increase or decrease that for uh, changing your model. Keep offline is for something like this. For example, if I have a plane here and <clears throat> holding alt and remission as you can see it's outline and change the topology you can click to check keep offline and keep your outline here another example is here for example we have a horse here that here is we have a hole here if we disable the option keep outline it looks like this and then when we enable the option, it skips the offline here. Okay, that's an example for us. And keep creases, for example, and this angle, if you activate it, the keep creases will be activated, the angle, uh, edge angle, it uh, keep the creases for this angle above any number here above here is example above for example mm, this smooth creases look at here we have some 
creases and curves here uh, in the year and year the software try to maintain that uh, creases in curvature you can test it in your model and uh, to see its effect a smooth iteration <coughs> This is a smooth iteration. For example, as you can see here, if the iteration is set to zero, we have an, for example, in here we have a uh, topology here. It's uh, being straight. If we uh, set the smooth iteration to 100%, as you can see, it's keep the uh, curvature of the topology here as you can see here is a straight line here is maintain its topology and maintain its curvature here and a smoothness only triangle it keeps uh, cause some problem if you tick that as you can see it try to only uh, triangulate it a quad angle uh, make the meshes to quad and it cause a lot of problem a lot of end gun here because it's forced the model to be in a quad mode in a quad polygons an interesting part is flow spline if you do not like your topology you can uh, create a curve and change your topology I will be example in a simple model but first look at this image here look at this image here we have a model here with a high density and we reduce that as you can see we have a straight topology of the polygon you can create a curve and into and give the this curve to the remesh and the remesh uh, the polygon follow the path of this spline here as you can see the re remesher the remesh the polygon to position of that curve that you draw here for example i bring an plane here i increase the topology uh, segment a little more it's not important that it's editable or not in this case i remesh that keep outline and polygon count okay i this number is okay for me and simply i want to create a curve on this surface for that i use a, a spline pen and for this case, I want to enable a snap to snapping the object. Enable that. I will be teach you a snap in the next lesson. Don't worry. Simple. Enable it in its settings. Turn on the polygon and a 3D snap. That's it. Go into the spline pen. And you can, for example, a sketch polygon. I want to change the uh, root like this. Draw a spline here, and that's it. Okay, in a remesh, you can uh, click and drag a spline here. Click and drag the spline here. And look at this. The uh, topology of the polygon changed to follow this spline here. You can turn the spline on or off here. Click it. As you can see, we have a straight polygon. When you activate it, the polygon follows the pass of the spline that you insert here okay that is remesh i want to say something about remeshing please for this high density model uh, waiting to be calculated some guys are doing your do, doing their job fast and they want to calculate fast but you have to wait i want to show you if you click and drag this model in the remesh waiting for calculating here it's taking two time to taking too long to calculate waiting waiting for its jobs finish and don't change the sitting before calculating waiting waiting for that 
Okay, after five minutes in my machine, it's done. And as you can see, it changed the topology and the mesh and it's nice and smooth. So uh, for this example, and then you can change its settings and increase or decrease the polygon count. I want to say that please wait for calculating. Do not uh, be in a hurry, please. Okay, that's Remesh. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.